Music has always played a big part in the Chamorro lifestyle. Through our music, we can find clues about how our grandparents and great-grandparents dealt with change. In understanding our music, we gain a clearer insight into our culture, history, and our society. If you listen carefully and read between the lines, you'll see how many songs hold hidden meaning, meaning that is best understood by well-versed speakers of the Chamorro language. These vivid musical expressions paint a picture of the attitudes and life experiences of a simple island people. <laughs> On the morning of December 8, 1941, trouble seemed far away. Farmers were tending their crops and families were dressing for morning mass to celebrate the feast of Santa Maria and Camelin, the island's patron saint. But as the church bells rang, Japanese planes clouded the skies over Aganya. Less than one hour later, the horrible news came. Sumai had been bombed. Panic and chaos followed quickly, and that soon became terror as families were separated while making their way to the surrounding hills and jungle. War had come to paradise, and within two days, Guam was under the complete control of Japan, including the name change of the island and its villages. The Japanese occupation had a great impact on the people. Adjustments had to be made in order to survive. The language barrier between the Japanese and the Chamorros was a difficult hurdle to overcome. But taking advantage of this, the Chamorros used their language as an emotional outlet. <laughs> Father Duenius, along with Father Oscar Calvo and Reverend Joaquin Sablan, ministered to the island's spiritual needs. Father Duenius refused to yield to Japanese mandates. On July 8, 1944, Father Duenius and a nephew were arrested, interrogated, and tortured by Japanese police. On July 12th, both men were executed. Adios, Father Duenius, Senor. 